everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Ronnie and for those of you that are new welcome um, I am going to be trying to post videos very often uh, at least Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays is when I'm going to start trying to post my videos um, I have not posted anything in a while so I hope you all enjoy this video so, um, I hope you all enjoy this video. I've got actually two, three planned that I want to film today. And um, if you notice, I don't know how, but I've gotten foundation on each side of my shirt. I'm not sure how I've done it, but I'll have to watch this <laughs> today. But uh, today's video, I'm actually going to be doing my November favorites. I don't really have any like rejects for February. These are just products that I was using quite a bit in February. Oh, wait, November, I mean, sorry. Um, I'm going to be showing my November favorites, and um, some of them I use almost every day or um, whenever I was doing my makeup. So I'll go ahead and start the video. So the first thing that I've been really, really liking is the, is the Naked Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette. This is the original. Now, it's it was barely used. Um, I got it and I would use it, but just not very often. And for some reason, I seen it and the colors just spoke to me one morning and I've been using it about every time I do my makeup, whether I use all of them or just a couple of the shades. Um, some of the fa my favorite shades are going to be the Half Baked and smog i really like it and then i uh, usually for a transition color i'll go in with either with naked or buck usually i'll start with naked and then i'll go into buck to kind of deepen my creases so i've been really enjoying this palette another palette that i was using as well is my kat von d shade and light eye contour palette um, i know kat von d's got a lot of um uh, controversy i it doesn't, I ha, I've had this palette for a little bit and I've not really gotten anything of hers um, lately, but I've really enjoyed this, um, her Lolita lipsticks and her foundation. I really like them and I really like the fact that you get such a big mirror in the palette and um, this one doesn't come with the brush, but these are the shades that I use or now usually I've been using um, this color let's see let me see so and the names are on the back of this one which I really do like um, Urban Decay's is on the front not the back so this one is a uh, succubus I've been using the white and then I've been using da -da -da, Liberatus, um, yeah, and then I used a black today, which is Sh Shax. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read the uh, writing on the back, but that's what it looks like. Um, I really do like the this palette. Uh, um, these are two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes for November, and I will probably keep using them. The Urban Decay, the original Naked one, is not, from what I've been told, it's not on sale anymore. Like, they're supposedly discontinuing it. I don't know. I've got that one. And then the Urban Decay Naked 3. I don't have two or any of, like, the smaller palettes. Um, but my sister does, and I'm going to ask her how she likes the smaller palettes. I really like the original one, and if it comes out once that one is used up, i probably try to buy it again because it is a really good one. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about, but another, but my moisturizer, I have really been loving this Dove. Okay. Mm. But I've been really liking this Dove Intensive Cream. I've got this at the Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree, and I actually purchased two of them. Just because if it was good, they're usually not there, so I went ahead and got two. And um, i just been using this as a moisturizer before I put my makeup on. And it says it's uh, in, an intensive cream. It says for complete daily skin care. So I've just been using it for just to moisturize my face before I put my primer or anything on. 
and you do get um well, maybe. there we go you do get a pretty good amount in here this is 2.53 fluid ounces or 75 milliliters for a dollar i'm not really complaining because you do get quite a bit in here and it doesn't take much to moisturize my skin and I feel like if I put this on underneath my primer it makes my primer and foundation stick better it's kind of tacky uh, not real real bad but just a little bit then for another skincare regimen I've been using this Mario Batiscu uh, facial spray this is a one with a low herbs and rose water and it says that you know you you can use it to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. Lightly mist over face and neck as needed. But this one is really good facial spray. Okay. And as you can see, um, I've used quite a bit of it. Can you? I did get this in my Ulta haul uh, about a month or so ago, and I would say I probably use it, if not every day, at least every other day, just to kind of refresh in my skin, um, either after I put my makeup on or while I'm putting my makeup on. So that's been a favorite. Then my favorite blush I've been really liking is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Tropic Hues. So, I've been using this since I got it in my box charm about a month or so ago, and I really do like it. This is, like, just, it, it's just a beautiful color, and you wouldn't think so, but it does add just some rosiness to the cheeks, and it looks really good. I really like it. Sometimes I find that I can be a little bit too heavy-handed when I do use it, and if that's the case, I'll kind of just take, like, my, um makeup sponge or my foundation brush and just kind of brush over it to kind of get rid of some of the excess blush I should say but yeah I mean it's just a really gorgeous color and um, and then And then for my highlighter, I've actually been using a palette and just a single. And both of these are from BoxyCharm. For some reason, sorry, had a phone call I had to take. But I have been using the um, a palette and the single. And both of these came from BoxyCharm. For some reason, I've really been getting into my BoxyCharm makeup a little bit more um, as far as like the highlighters and things like that go but this is the pure sculptor and it is two highlights and let's see a contour palette so this is what it looks like and i really like the um originator right here i've been i like this too but for some reason i keep going back to the originator this is trailblazer and then the contour that i use is inventor which is the top one then the bottom one is founder um i don't use founder because i find that it's too dark on me even the uh inventor one is a little bit dark but if i get it too dark or anything i'll just do same thing with my bra with my blush I just kind of like a, a little bit of foundation to it or uh, lighten it up. But the originator, right here, the originator is my favorite highlight out of this palette. Then when I want something else, I have been going in with the Becca, what is this, Prosecco Pop. And this is what it looks like. It's like a gorgeous... I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's just a beautiful color, and um, I do like it. It is a pretty, kind of like a sparkle or a glittery highlight in my opinion, but I'll use this, um, and the way that I put mine on is I'll take it along here, 
and that's actually what I'm wearing today, if you can see. Um, I'll take it, and I've been putting it a little bit like right here, just a li very little though, to kind of bring attention to my eyes and uh, my facial structure. And then I'll do like a C, I'll do this. <laughs> and then I've been running a little bit down my nose and on my cupid's bow. As you can see, the one on my nose and cupid's bow is, it, it's not existing anymore. But this is a gorgeous color as well. And this came from Boxy Charm. Then, um, to set my face, I have actually been using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. Now, as you can see, or maybe not, I have hit pan barely on this color. And, or not that color, my bad, this color. And I do use this color to set the whole part of my face, my under eyes and everything. If I don't have um, a loose powder, and usually if I use a loose powder, it's going to be the Cody Airspun. But I've been really enjoying this because it's really convenient. And then I'll just sometimes go in with this as well for my contour. Um, I haven't been bronzing very much, but I'll use um, either this contour or the one from the Pure Palette. And then I do have three mascaras I've been really, really liking. So the first one is the Essence Lash Princess one. I really like this one. I did get this from my Ulta haul and I've been using it uh, quite a bit. But, and then I'll use this and then I always go in with my my Wonder Beauty Unleash that came in Boxy Charm as well. I like this because of the type of brush it has. So as you can see, there's the brush. I really do like it. And usually what I'll do is I'll go in with my Essence and to get like some length and volume. And it can get a little bit clumpy, and I'll usually use this to kind of separate them. But I did go out today and actually got two one lash brush thingies that help come through it as well. If I don't use the Essence one, we got this from BoxyCharm. I don't know. And uh, this one also came from BoxyCharm. Like I said, I've just been really into BoxyCharm makeup, except for the eyeshadow palettes. And... I actually went out and got two of these from e.l.f. today. This is their Lash and Brow Wand. And I think it was only a dollar. it says it separates lashes after mascara application and it contours your brows. I got one for brows and one for my eyelashes. Made a mistake one time and used it on my eyelashes and then tried to go in with my eyebrows. And it was a disaster. Because as you can see, my eyebrows is a dark brown, but the mascara is always black. So when I tried doing that, I'm just grateful I did not have my foundation and things on because it was not pretty. So um, really glad to be that I got these today. Okay. Or I'll go in with my Superhero by It Cosmetics. We got this and I'm not the biggest fan of this. I'm just trying to use it up so it doesn't go to waste. Um, and I don't like any giving my used mascara to anybody. I just don't, unless it's like one of my kids or something like that. Um, and then like same thing, you know, he had to get a little, it, 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 this is a wet formula to me. The first few times I used it, it was very wet, very clumpy. So what I would do is I would use this and then I would go through with this as well, add another layer of this. And it worked really, really good, but I think I prefer the Essence over this one. This is like $3, and I think this one is 20 something and I'm not the biggest fan. And when I run out of this, I'll probably just use the um, mascara one. I'll probably keep it, clean it up, and help go through as well if um, these don't work out. But I think these should be fine. So, let's see. Oh, and then for my eyebrows, mentioning eyebrows. What I've been really, really liking is the Brow Gal... Um, 
the Instant Tint Brown Hair 02. This is a tinted brow gel with microfibers. I really like this for my eyebrows. This is all I've been using. Um, and I'll just basically comb it through. And then I've been using um, the e.l.f. to kind of comb it through. But it's got a tiny, tiny, tiny wand. Very, very tiny. So. But I'll use that and I'll just kind of brush through it a little bit to you know, make my eyebrows look a little bit fuller. Because I don't need them any thicker. If they did, I'd be looking like Cousin It. and Or Chewbacca. That is not cute. I don't want to look like that. Not on purpose anyways. But the primer I've been really liking uh, this for November was the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I really like this. Again, this came from BoxyCharm. I don't know. I'm just really enjoying my BoxyCharm makeup here lately. There we go. So I've been using this, and it only takes a little bit, especially if I put on the Dove. I feel like this goes a little bit of a longer way, but that could just be me, you know, kind of like being tight wide with it. Uh, another spray I've been really liking is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. This is um, a nice spray, but whenever you shake it up and actually spray it, it's very sparkly, I guess. And I have to use my um, beauty sponge to kind of tap it in so that way it doesn't leave my skin looking very wet or like spots on it. Um, so it's not my favorite, but it's the one for some reason I've been gravitating towards. Then the, uh, not foundation, but the concealer I've been using is the, is the e.l.f. HD Lifting in Fair. So I really like this, and this is what I've been using. The foundation that I use it with has been my Super Stay Full Coverage Complete. Um, and 112 Natural Ivory. I've been really liking this foundation. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot to cover up my face. As you can see, it, it it's a beautiful foundation. Um, I really like it. No complaints with that. I have the matte and poreless one as well. But for some reason, I've been gravitating more towards this. I think it sits a little bit better, but there's really not that big of a difference. And a couple more things and we're just about done. But the felt tip uh, eyeliner that I've been really liking is Aiko. Um, it says, I do liquid eyeliner. This is waterproof, enhancing, uh, lash enhancing. And I think that I got this from Ipsy and I just found it going through some makeup. And I really like how small it is. And it's just a really good eyeliner. I don't use it on my bottom lashes. If I wear a liner on my bottom lashes. It's a hit and miss. I've still been trying to find a really good one. Um, some of the ones that I have. They run. They smear. They make me look like a rat comb. And I don't like that. So I've been looking for a new bottom lash liner. That does not move. And then I have the So De Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream. I've been babying this. I'm almost out of it. So I will actually have to place me in order soon. I just don't want to pay $45 for a thing of lotion. But it smells extremely good and it's really, really hydrating and I really do like it. So I'm going to have to break down eventually and go ahead and just buy me some more because it's really good. And then the lipstick that I'm actually wearing today is one I just discovered. It is Lolita. Well, I should say I just discovered in my collection. This is the Lolita Studded Kiss. I love this packaging. And as you can see, I've not really worn a whole lot of it, but I found it actually today. And I know technically this is not a November's product. But, I want to try to start using this and um, my other Lolita liquid lipstick. And not the, just a studded kiss. But I really like this. And this is actually what I'm wearing today. And I am wearing most of this makeup on my face as well. So, that is... Oh, 
and I've still been really liking my Neutrogena makeup removers. I just purchased this today because I am pretty low. But this is also a Neutrogena um, like refillable type kit. And this is like the refillable pack. So I've been really liking my Neutrogena makeup wipes. They're they're the best makeup wipes that I use. And then if um, once I use those, I'll go in with my Witch Hazel. And I'll just kind of, it says that it tones and cleanses it and things like that as well. I'll just, you know, put this on like a wash rag or something. And then I just kind of rub it on my face to make sure all the makeup is gone. And this does help me with preventing breakouts and things. I noticed that if I do have a breakout, I'll just use this for a few days and it gets rid of it just like that. So, I really do like that, but yeah, other than that, I guess that's all my favorites. Like I said, I didn't really use any really bad products in November because I didn't really have any to play with, except for like my BoxyCharm stuff, and I'm honestly not even sure where my November stuff is. I'll have to look for it, but um, yeah, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to start posting more. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if there's any eyeliners that you know of that's really good for your water, or not the waterline. Is it? I don't know. Like for the bottom lashes and things like that. Just let me know because I'm looking for one that's really good, you know. I don't care if it's waterproof. Um, I don't want something to smudge, smear, flake, anything like that. Because it does give me the raccoon look and I don't look cute looking like a raccoon but that is it for the video i appreciate you watching it and hope to see you in my next one bye